Ladies and gentlemen, here's the two weight division world champion and the current defending WBA lifeline weight champion of the world, introducing the undefeated Hiroko Tonight, making his 12th world title appearance, here's the longtime popular and reigning world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the two Kenshiro Taraji, 19 and 1, the WBC champ. Kiro Tokyo Gucci, 16 and 0, the WBA world champion at 108 pounds. I mentioned these two fighters have met four times in the amateur ranks. A three and one record for Kenshiro. Kenshiro coming off a win in March of this year where he reclaimed his WBC light flyweight championship belt in a rematch against Masamichi Yabuki in which he lost the belt in his only loss of his career in September of last year. And Kaguchi winning at the WBA unification fight against Esteban Bermudez in June of this year, his most recent fight. Kiyaguchi overcame two point deductions in that fight to take home the titles. Right now, um, Kyra Gucci's being real patient. Um, Taraji, you know, using his jab just to basically, um, you know, measure and get his distance. Nice one, two from Tar Taraji. Taraji first won his WBC belt back in 2017, made eight defenses before losing it. His first defense here after reclaiming it in March. That's kind of from Kyle Gucci. I like how he's um, being very defensive, you know, keeping, keeping the guard up. It's up to um, Taraji to basically nice body shot from Taraji, but you, you got to um, break the guard by, you know, creating openings. Just with everything, just everything starts with the jab. Nice counter from Kayaguchi. Kayaguchi is his second fight here in the county 22. Fought sparingly during the COVID years, didn't fight at all in 2020, just once last year. I, li I like that overhand from um, Kayaguchi. Good jab. Fighters feeling each other yeah, out here in round it's number one. Out, yeah, fill out round. Very patient from both fighters. But I've seen some good stuff from both men. I think the jab's going to be the key for um, Taraji, especially with that. Especially when, we, when you got a guy who's very defensive. You got to you got to keep, keep it. You got to blind him with the jab at times and, and just keep boxing. But I, I like how I, I uh, Kyle Gucci's very patient and he, he's a counter puncher, as you can see. Stiff straight right hand yeah. from Taraji. Nice, nice, nice little right hand from Kyle Gucci. But Taraji, you know, he stays with his game plan, goes right back to the jab. Taraji in the white trunks, Kiguchi in the black. Things starting to really heat up now. Both fighters working off that stiff lead jab. And again, these, these are two men that are very familiar with each other, you know, especially with the amateur, four, four times in the amateur rankings. Um, it's, it's a big, it's a big unification matchup. I look at it as a more, as more as a, a rivalry, especially when you got two men who are familiar with each other. Right. So it's all, it's all about bragging rights. Two very smart fighters as well. Nice jab from um, Kyle Gucci to, to pop the head back of Taraji. 
And now Kiyoguchi goes to the body. Yeah. But again, I like how Taraji, you know, he's sticking with his game plan. And, um, you know, using the stick. Just got, just got to change up the speed and rhythm, rhythm at times. You know, you never want to, never want to keep continue doing the same thing over and over, especially when you, get, when you have a counter puncher like Kyle Gucci, who's, um, who can time your rhythm and counter you, and he's very patient doing it. As you can see, nice little, nice little sneaky up from Kyle Gucci. And again, that's what I mean. You know, he'll, he'll try to throw over your, um, he'll throw, he's throwing over Taraji's on shoulder because Taraji's throwing the time. He'll throw the jab from his, from his shoulders instead of behind, you know, behind his guard. A little one two splits the guard yeah. for Kinshiro. Two very tactical fighters. Very, yeah, absolutely. And again, I respect how, you know, um, Cameron Shiro, you know, he's sticking with his game plan and everything becomes behind the stick. Kaiguchi. Doubling up the jab. Oh, nice uppercut with the left hand from Kiyoguchi. A nice, yeah, nice little body shot from um, Taraji. Again. Good jab, good jab. Good body shot. Following behind the jab from Taraji. Seconds ago in round number two. Little counter from Kimmers. Kimmers Shiro. Nice one, two. Yeah, Taraji has found a lot of success yeah. splitting that career. Born in Osaka, Japan. Youngest of three. Six year as a professional. Actually graduated from Osaka University of Commerce with a degree in economics. I like how, uh, I, no I noticed in how Kyle Gucci right now he's kind of he's kind of um, countering catching the shoot and every time he feels uh, that jab he'll fire right back off the gloves every time he feels something on the gloves he'll fire right back nice little uh, upper body movement there good stab good good stab from Taraji you know, it, was, it was really really te technical matchup chess match it seems like Kiyoguchi is really trying to pick his spots whereas Taraji a little bit more aggressive. Trying to create, oh, he's trying to create openings. So you know, yes, yeah, he, he has to be great. He has to be a little bit more aggressive to break through that guard. You know, that, that's how you create openings. But I like how um, Kaiyoguchi, you know, he's staying composed and he's very patient. Good jab work by Taraji. Yeah. Nice little slick uppercut, uh, left uppercut from Kaiyoguchi. When Kaiyoguchi has let his hands go it seems like he has favored the uppercut so maybe he's seeing something defensively from Taraji that gives him an inclination that uppercut oh, nice might be effective. Counter, nice little counter from Kyle Gucci. Nice right hand from Taraji. Ooh, Good nice body, body shot with the left yeah. hand from Kyle Gucci. Taraji continues to come forward though. It worked for both men. Taraji being the more the, the aggressor right now, but you gotta give credit. You gotta, you gotta give um, respect to credit to defense, um, defensive points on for from um, Kyle Gucci. It's one two right up the yeah, middle. Middle again. breaking that guard. You gotta break that guard. Now it's Kyle Gucci who goes to the jab and Taraji down to the body. And he kind of got that that winding looping shot, but it's finally his mark. Oh, nice nice right hand from from Taraji. Again, one two right down up the, the middle. middle Jamel. Yeah. Now he, he's doing the right thing. He's got, he's got to break that guard, but you got to you got, by staying busy and keeping the jab in his face. The jabs mainly use the, the, the blind, the blind Kyle Gucci, and he always follows it up with a big right hand or something or something under the body. Nice, nice body shot from, from Kyle Gucci, though. A little right uppercut followed by a three punch combination for Kinshiro Taraji. Yeah, he's getting a little bit more aggressive now. A nice little counter from, from Kyle Gucci, though. Taraji the aggressor, Kyle Gucci the counter puncher so far. Yeah. Good work from both men. Round number four in this unification fight. 
So Riley goes, comes right back out with the jab. Nice little counter from Kayaguchi, though. It doesn't, right. doesn't seem like either one has deviated from their game plan no, yet. No, not at all. It's that looping right here yeah, from Kayaguchi, yeah. or excuse yeah. me, from Taraji. And, 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 I like, and I like it because um, he, he changes direction. You don't know if he's going to loop it down to the body or he comes up right top to the head from an uppercut. Straight right hand from Kaiguchi. Still searching for that big left uppercut. He swung and missed with that punch three or four times in this fight so far. If you notice, Taraji, he, he's getting he's he's getting full leverage with his punches. He's not smothering himself. He's at he's at he's at a good distance. And he, you know he, he just he's just using he's just timing and, and um you know picking picking Kaiguchi off. They're just boxing. He's you know he's boxing. And it kind of makes it hard for Kayaguchi when someone's boxing in circles because it, it takes away your, your peripheral vision because your hands up, you know, you can, so you can't see on that side where he's stepping to. Good combination good counter, good from counter, Taraji. But good counter from Kayaguchi. Did, in that yes. moment, yeah. Again, like I, I respect um, Kayaguchi, you know, his defense and everything, but at times when you have that high guard, you can't see those shots because it's coming around the glove, as you see right there. Again with the right hand from Taraji. Nice combination from Taraji. It's been more volume punching yeah. from Kinshiro Taraji, that's for sure. And you Get see, he's fans in it as well. You see, what he's doing. You know, he's he, he's using he's, he's creating space, and he'll allow Kaiabuchi, you know, to throw something, and he'll he'll try to counter under it with something with a looping with a looping body shot or, or uppercut the middle, like you see right there. Nice short uppercut and a great combination from Taraji here in the fourth. Nice work, nice work from from Taraji for sure. Straight one, two. right hand. Good double jab from Kyle Gucci. Followed with a right hand. Punches in bunches from Taraji. Kai Gucci just trying to keep pace. Oh, good combination from Kai. And here he comes. Lands a few there. Under 30 seconds to go in the round. And he kind of backed him up. He back he backed Taraji up for a minute. And like I said, both men are sticking with their with their game plan respectively. Good oh, body shot. Body shot. Two rights to the body. By Kinshiro Taraji. Good jab from Kai Butchie to, <laughs> to stop him in his track for, 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 for a second. Another good jab from Kai Butchie. That's a fun fourth round. Uppercuts. You think you're out of the way, then, you know, boom, you get yep. hit with something, something, something way out there. Round number five. Fighters trying to establish the jab to start the round <laughs> simultaneously. Blow for blow. They, yeah, they traded jabs. And I like how I like how Kai Gucci's adding more upper body movement. Oh, oh what a straight oh, right hand <laughs> floors Kayaguchi. Got caught. Taraji had been coming up the middle with the one-two combination every single round and finally puts enough pepper on it to put Kai Gucci on his back. Taraji getting real aggressive here. Got to keep him off him. And I, you gotta, and I like how Taraji, um, you know, he's picking it up. But he's not, he's not crowding himself. He's not, you know, he's not smothering himself. He's still keeping full leverage on those punches that you see right there. Right hook around the guard. Trying to go for the uppercut. Kayaguchi yep. fighting back against the ropes. Straight again. left hand. And again, he's not he's not smothering himself. He has full range on his punches, and, he, and he's just letting him go. Taraji unloading. Kayaguchi avoiding a lot of punishment here, but still punches in bunches from Kinshiro Taraji after the knockdown. Still 130 to go Ooh. here in round number five. Up the middle again with the left hand. Kinshiro Taraji. Pressing non -stop. forward. Non-stop. Again, straight at the middle. Everything at the middle. He's breaking, he's breaking the guard. He's got caught a few times there, but you know, he he's breaking the guard with straight shots. Great combination from Taraji. Still a lot of time left in this fifth round, Jamel. Yeah. Nice body shot. 
Good body shots from Taraji. Coming up, follow with a combination up top. And those punches come from all, all angles. You know, is Lupin coming up up the middle, under the elbows, around around the guard. Caught on the ropes again is Kai Gucci. And he's not smothering himself. Oh, Kai Gucci caught oh, him with the yeah, left yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, uppercut to push him back. He's coming back now. 35 seconds again, to go nice in the uppercut. round. Yeah. And here is Hiroto Kai Gucci. Got to keep the hands up. Oh. Taraji. <laughs> oh. Now he's wobbled. Taraji going backwards now. Oh. Kai Gucci on the attack. Kai Gucci looking for a knockdown of his own here in the fifth. Got to go back to defense. Okay. Oh. Kai Gucci the overhand oh. right. Taraji just trying that to make it to the oh. bell. Oh. Oh. What a round. Oh. And they tumble to the mat. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was going, it was going. Hiroto Kaiguchi after getting knocked down earlier in the fifth. The Good fireworks fight. here in Saitama, Japan. And what? again, we would like to say thank you for everyone tuning in, especially here in the States. We know how early it is, so <laughs> shout out to everyone out there watching. We appreciate you. 530 here on the West Coast, 830 on the East Coast. Breakfast and boxing, right? Perfect. The question is, who's the more the more worse for wear after that fifth round? Good question. Sometimes a knockdown can can wake you up. Well, that's what it seemed to do for Kaiguchi. Because now he's the one yeah, pressing, pressing forward, yeah, pumping the jab. Everything starts with the jab. Nice little sneaky uppercut from Kaiguchi there. Left uppercut. Like Taraji, I like how he's just, you know, boxing, keeping his distance, using his range. Nice little double jab from Taraji. He's probably still recovering from that last round, honestly. So he's just, you know, playing it safe, boxing a bit, using lateral movement. Nice jab. Another one. Good. Worked by Taraji. Nice little one to just miss, but back to the jab. Nice counter, counter right hand from Taraji. Fifth jab. So far, though, in this sixth round, Jamel Kaiguchi not able to capitalize on the work he did in that final minute of the fifth round. And he has to, um, he has to close in the gap. Right now, you know, Taraji is just using his reach and, and distance. And he just, he's just, you know, he's, just, he's, just, he's basically trying to steal in the round, well, winning the round with, with the jab and straight shots. It's up to um, Kaiguchi, to, you know, to start slipping those, some of those jabs and go back to using that counter, just like he tried, he tapped it there, that, that counter right hand. Consistent jab work by Taraji here in the sixth round. And maybe, uh, you know, Kai Gucci can start using maybe a double jab. You know, sometimes he's throwing one at a time. And, you know, Taraji just basically timing it and sitting back and waiting for him to fall into his, his, his range where he could throw, where he could throw off um, his own punches. Good stiff jab from Tar Taraji. Round number seven. Over the halfway mark. It's a good matchup so far. Great fifth round. That's like they both turn it up a little bit now. Yeah, like you pointed out, they probably took that round off for a breather. Well, they Gucci both turn it up, to, yeah. Kai Gucci back to being on the attack. And both fighters have, have, have had a moments. Oh. That one pushes Kai Gucci back with the right hand from Taraji. That's a little sneaky, that little sneaky up jab of the guard. Right up the middle from Taraji again. Yeah. This is he's where he got again. knocked so down look, in the fifth. Look out for that up jab. He's breaking the guard with that up jab. Kai Gucci. Eating a lot of punches here in the opening 45 seconds of round number seven. 
And that's because Taraji, he, he changed up levels and speeds. Um, Kyle Gucci is kind of still fighting at the same pace. So so he's basically being timed by Taraji. But Taraji at times, you know, start with start with a little jab here to the fill out. He'll, then, he'll, then he'll start changing the speeds up and start adding in combinations. And start punching from, from different angles, around the guard, up the middle, and so on. Again, to Kai, we're still in the fight. He just needs to um, add a little bit more to add a little bit more to the arsenal. Big looping right uppercut just misses by Taraji. And the thing too, Jamel, is that it seems like Taraji's throwing about five punches to every one exactly. of Kai Gucci's. And that's what I mean. Kai Gucci's not doing bad. He just, you know, what I'm saying he's just being outworked. Good body shot though from Kai Gucci. Both of them land with the left of the body. Overhand left from Taraji scores. But you would think this is where Kai Gucci wants to be at. Good counter, good counter from Kayaguchi. Again, he's not doing bad. He's just not throwing. He's just not throwing a lot. Good double jab. Good jab from Kayaguchi. Like I said, when he, when he throws, you know he's he's effective at times. Again, he's a nice little double jab from him. Uppercut yeah. with the left hand from Taraji pushes Kayaguchi back, nearing the ropes. Nice, great combination nice. from Kayaguchi. Nice. Again, when Kyle Gucci fights back, he actually he finds success. He just you know just he needs to keep up the work rate or be more defensive against Taraji's on onslaught. But again, um, great 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 work for both men. Up oh, the middle from Taraji, and that's oh, it. Wow. Kenshiro Taraji, the straight right hand splits the guard. He had found success for the entire fight with the one two right up the middle. It landed in the knockdown in the fifth and the knockout. Here in the seventh. And Kenshiro Taraji, the WBC, WBA unified light flyweight champion. This guy is dangerous. Like I said, he's a, he's a very good technical fighter, and he carries, he carries power in, in, in those punches. Very dangerous for this, for this division.